hell of a performance by some amazing superstars, Cole. He's looking out of that one. Victory means absolutely everything to these competitors tonight. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Look at this. Could it be? It's a lot, Cole, but this is not ballet. You step between those ropes, you better be prepared to take some punishment. And to dish some out as well. I don't think I've ever seen a superstar win a match by being a tackling dummy. RVD wanted a match, and I gave it to him. Man, look at these superstars. You can't ask for a better example of what makes SmackDown so great. You sure can. SmackDown's got the greatest superstars and the greatest matches for the greatest fans in all of sports entertainment. These superstars are putting on a clinic in there. Yeah, and not a health clinic. I don't think they'll be the same after this one. I'll tell you, Cole, this is what the WWE is all about. You're absolutely right, Taz. The greatest athletes in the world competing on the grandest stage of them all. Hey everyone, Spencer7x7 here. And this is episode 15 of SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Anyways, this episode may be cut a little because the episode has too much content. This may not be my normal show, but obviously, I need no introduction. Even you SmackDown fans must know when you're in the presence of greatness. And even the most dim-witted one of you recognizes a ten-time world champion when he sees one. Why so much, Bruce? Now you all saw he me that I took time. out Eddie Guerrero last Sunday at No Way Out and teamed up with this man in his Hell in a Cell match. It hurts me to say it, but sadly, most of you are probably too naive, or quite frankly, stupid, to understand just why I did it. Hey, he can't talk to you like that, Cole. At least he's honest well, about here's stuff. Why. As world heavyweight champion and greatest living superstar in this business today, I can tell you firsthand that a success story like mine takes more than just pure wrestling skill and athletic ability to achieve all I've achieved in my unprecedented career. I've lived by values such as sportsmanship, integrity, and fair play. Oh, please, did I just hear him right? That's right. That's exactly why I'm here on SmackDown. Call me old-fashioned, but I believe that when a man earns a WWE title match, the general manager shouldn't stack the deck against him or try to cripple him before he gets it. At least he's honest about I'm not about gonna stand stuff. idly by and let Teddy Long, John Cena, or anyone else screw this man out of the main event at WrestleMania. Hey, that's very sporting of him, Cole. He came all the way to SmackDown just to do that? I'll tell you what, Triple H, he's got integrity. Come on, yeah, yeah, don't sure you does. see what he's up to? Does he? Well, that was a truly inspirational speech there, Trips. And it's all true. If there's one thing we know about Triple H, it's that he always sticks up for the little guy. Look at the word fairness in the dictionary. You'll see that scowling face, that sloping forehead right next to it. That's but creepy. you know, as much as it makes me want to puke to admit it, we're on the same page here. It's not right for SmackDown to try and keep its number one contender from his title shot at WrestleMania. Just like it's unfair for Raw to do the same to me. I earned a World Heavyweight title match on Raw. And I'll be damned if I let some SmackDown ass clown steal it from me. Who are you calling an ass clown? I can beat you up for lunch for it. Not this guy again. 
вот мне. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Two raw superstars who can't keep their nose out of SmackDown business. After your actions last week, Triple H, you probably expect me to call security and have you and Chris Jericho escorted from the building. But actually, I'm glad you're here, players. See, after Triple H messed with my main event at No Way Out, I got permission from Mr. McMahon to make a special cross brand match if you showed up on SmackDown. So you three stay right where you are because you're going to team up tonight against JBL, Kurt Angle, and the WWE Champion John Cena in a six-man tag team match. And when it's over, we're going to find out once and for all which title our number one contender is going to challenge for at WrestleMania. Holla, holla, holla. I gotta say, Theodore Long's been ahead of the curve since he came back to SmackDown. He anticipated Triple H showing up again tonight, and he was ready, Taz. I'll say, a six-man cross-brand tag match? That kind of rock the buster would be in a main event anywhere, anytime. And it's here tonight on SmackDown. You have got to be kidding me. The two things I hate the most are here. Tag battles and repeated characters. This match is gonna be longer than I don't know. And slower too. Anyways it does not matter since I can cutting most of this match. I am so glad I have Vegas Pro here with me. Well anyways, happy late new year to anyone watching this. If you already got to this episode, I salute you. If not, well it does not matter. Also, expect maybe less commentary today because I am running out of stuff. I've been locked in this hole before, and it hurts even worse than it looks. I can't Seven even people in one ring makes for a slow game. I could turn on more speed hacks, but I found out that more actually makes this game slower. And also, they are called hacks for a reason. They are not the most stable of things. Even in balanced mode, they do some How weird graphics glitches. Are these superstars but nothing be able really matters. Your guess is as good as mine, Taz. They're certainly not going easy on each other, that's for sure. Anyhow, the tip to win a tag match fast and easy is to weaken your opponents and then tag someone else. Then when the opponent's tag character is out These of the ring you just beat him up. clearly giving it their all tonight. Not a surprise there at all, Cole. I mean, if tell you me follow those simple steps, you, you should win when the referee counts the ten. It seems like it's against tags. the rules, Everyone but it's not, gives which is very weird. If they didn't, they wouldn't be here. What a counter that was! But unfortunately on this match I do not really follow my own advice and just try to pin the other player, which is a no-no. I'll tell you what right now, it is a good thing that Chris Jericho pays his bills by wrestling. Now oh, would you look at this? Talk about what? arrogant. It's sickening. Actually, I think it's great. That's not arrogance, yeah. that's confidence. At and first I thought those taunts match? were useless, but they can be useful. Great. More if you have high charisma. Four. Speaking of everything, my New Year's resolution for this year for this channel is to maybe finish those two Let's Plays and maybe retire from full game LP. 
And the SmackDown locker room was full of idiots, Cole! I may do some smaller no LPS from time to time, and extra episodes may be done from older LPS, no especially Maple Story. But that's another story for another day. But he stepped over a lot of bodies on his climb to the top. Oh man, there's the tank! In a moment now, I'll skip a good part of the match so that the episode is much shorter. Without this, it would be almost 40 minutes long. Night My goal is night, to make this like 20 ish minutes instead, never which is the standard episode to length. Amaze the fans. And that's a good thing, Cole. I don't ever want to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we wouldn't be sitting. What a submission maneuver! You must be familiar with this one, Taz. Yeah, I've been on both sides of it, Cole. That's the truth. And let At me least tell this you, episode, I'm being a better partner than last received. time. Which is one of the reasons why this is maybe the last tag match. That and most of them span lots of episodes, and they are a waste of time and effort. If you ever want to just have and there's the pin! Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars. Okay, I'm back and everyone is hurt like oh, hell. come on, quick show off. And Alice, like 13 game match. minutes went by, Not but nothing interesting contest. happened, I think. We've seen this before, Taz. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. What a cowardly move. He can't win fair and square, so he tries to screw well, his opponent. Well, commentary on the actual match is hey, kind look, of boring because I already complained about almost everything. And also, most bad, of the stuff I commented on past episodes right? are pretty obvious. That's the way you do it. Nothing like Time to rumble now. As if it's gonna help me. Fight right out of you. I hope this is over soon. No matter how many times I see this, I just can't get used to it. What are you getting a little swinish call? Oh, what do you think this is? Badminton? This is weird to say, but I don't like being tagged. Everyone is against you, and if the opponent is out of the ring, you, you can't Cole, chase him. I spoke to these Which superstars sub before the match, and I ain't never seen competitors more fired up and ready to get it on. Judging from how this match has gone so far, Taz, I have no trouble believing that whatsoever. These superstars certainly aren't going easy on each other tonight. They sure are giving the fans their money's worth. No doubt, Cole. These WWE superstars put their bodies on the line night after night. And the fans sell out these arenas night after night, Taz. Sounds like a pretty fair trade to me. Go about you guys. But match stats rules. I can get special fast counter more, and hit more. It's been a long time since I saw a crowd get behind a superstar the way they have with John Cena. Wow, listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what, if you got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. You know, the key to winning a match like this is to build some momentum. And you're not going to see a match won with just one or two. He's three seconds away from a win. Oh, that right. wasn't even two. I may be hurt a lot here, but I am on fire. 
not just because my body meter is red I am saying I am on fire I wonder if we're gonna see anything this good on raw next Monday Cole come on Taz I think we both know the answer to that one I love hearing the crowd come alive even when I don't exactly agree with what they're saying. Me too. And I do agree with what they're All saying, right. Taz. Whoops. I am doing it again. Pinning my opponent, which is in fact worthless. This is why I do not like watching these episodes. They remind me of the stupid these mistakes I did in the past. But tonight. they do help me learn they and sure see things are. that I did I not see while I was still playing. Out. Wow, look at that submission! I ain't never seen it executed better! Neither have I, partner, and this might be enough to get a tap out right here! So overall, even though I have no choice, it's kinda cool to watch this again most of the time. JBL has every advantage you could possibly ask for in his life. Money, talent, fame. Oh, jeez, look at this. Pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you build some momentum, Taz. Seems like things have quieted down a little bit here, Cole. I think this may just be the call before the storm, Taz. Here's the pin! One. He's got to do more damage before he can get a three count. Seriously, this is slower than a Prius. No offense, Prius owners. I wonder how JBL is going to try to cheat his way to victory here tonight, Taz. You're out of line, Cole. And you probably don't want to, uh, 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 to slander him. He ain't taking any chances with this submission, Cole. I like how the commentators stop talking all of a sudden so they can talk that, about the pin or submission or whatever. I wouldn't be surprised if he got his opponent to tap out right here. I don't know, he's putting a lot of the line going up there. Triple H is the man, Cole. I've been in the ring with this dude. He knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission hole. White that girl means you gotta even I was so dig close to submission. Find a way to break White it submission is only the second best way of winning. Out, or third depending if DQs are turned off or not. He's soup. What a deadly submission hole this is! We might see a tap out right here! Won't surprise me one bit! The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have for serious injury! I'll tell you, all the WWE superstars are legit tough guys. But these superstars are really raising a bar here tonight. They sure are, Taz. We're seeing some great intensity here tonight. And that's the rope Submission break. hold locked in. We may see a tap out right here. And even if you can't make your opponent tap out, this will take a lot of fight out of him. Good thing I made that counter. Or else Thank it will be nasty Captain all over Obvious. here. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. It sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their minds, Taz. Yeah, and thousands of paying customers can't be wrong. This 
th I'll tell you what, man. This one just turned into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it kinda took me by surprise, Cole. And that don't happen too often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, but not this time. I guess it just goes to show you, Cole, like they say, anything can happen here in the WWE. This is getting nasty all over here. Two have heads full of blood already. Yo. And like always, I don't think my special be scenes do always hit only the head. Which sucks because you can't edit today. you special without editing a whole lot of stuff. And if it continues it's like so this, he'll have a red head too. Compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were gonna wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, any time you throw these kind of combustible elements into a match, this is getting old. 22 game minutes now and no result. And that's exactly this is almost the longest match ever. Here tonight. When you see this level of competition, well, Cole, it's almost there time is to go. No the rest of this match will be next time on the show. And next time will be also a short episode. So until then this is Spencer7x7 wow, here saying goodbye and happy late new year.